Sometimes finding stocks can be difficult to find, especially when you're first starting out. Everyone invests in Apple, Spy, Walmart, but what if they're all making new highs and you don't really want to invest in them when they're doing that because you don't want to buy when it's really high? Well, dollar cost averaging is great. This strategy allows you to find new stocks that you typically wouldn't invest in, and it's how I found two of the best performing stocks in my portfolio. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Jacob Fisher, and today we are talking about how to find long-term stocks before they increase in value. I use this strategy in my own portfolio to purchase Pinterest, currently up 70% just this year, and Etsy up 29% again just this year both of them i am awfully glad i added to my portfolio but let's just tap the like button and get into the strategy so you can learn too though i'm not a financial advisor so this is for entertainment purposes only when i am looking for these stocks i'm using thinkorswim or td ameritrade's platform to find the stocks they have this wonderful scanner that you can use to find stocks according to certain criteria other companies like e-trade and tradestation have similar scanners but I use Thinkorswim because I like the platform the most. Less techie companies like Robinhood, although still a tech kind of company, do not have scanners like this, but you can sign up for TD Ameritrade for free and get access to Thinkorswim as long as you just sign up for an account. You don't have to put any money in. You could also open an account if you really wanted to. Anyways, this strategy uses RSI, so let's get into it. The RSI indicator is the relative strength indicator, which is a momentum indicator used to evaluate oversold or overbought conditions on a stock. It's been around since 1978 and the readings on it go from zero to 100. Typically oversold means the RSI is below 30, while overbought means the indicator is above 70. When you buy a stock, you generally don't want it to be overbought unless you were just adding to your position every month and it doesn't really matter that much. If you buy an oversold stock, you have a much higher likelihood of the stock increasing in value over time. You can calculate the RSI yourself, but I would not recommend doing that because it would just take more time than it's worth. Now, I'm not just saying go out there and purchase every single stock with an RSI of less than 30 because that's not really how the strategy works. You can have stocks continue to decline in value even though they would appear to be oversold on the RSI indicator. You want to find a stock that is near 30, maybe, you know, still in that oversold area, but has been trending up in the past few weeks or month. It doesn't hurt to get into stocks that are like a 40 or 50 RSI, but stocks that are 10 might still be in a downtrend. Let me just show you Etsy and Pinterest where I bought them so you can kind of see what I saw. I bought Pinterest on 7-15-2020 for a price of $25.29. If we take a look at the chart on the day of 7-15, you can see that the RSI was around 55, which of course is right in the middle of RSI overbought and oversold area. And you can also see just by looking at the chart, Pinterest was trending up over the past few months. Then finally, you can see the MACD trend, which indicates the moving average convergence or divergence. It sounds complicated, but trust me, it's not. You can use this to help you determine if the stock is reversing. If the blue line crosses the yellow line, then you should have a reversal going up. But if the yellow line crosses the blue, then it, the opposite is true. You should see a downtrend and reversal going down. You can also see during this time we're in a small downtrend, but not a large one because both the lines are above that base pink line. I know, again, that still sounds like a lot, but really, if the blue line is above the yellow line, we are in an uptrend. If the yellow is above the blue, then we are in a downtrend. But if both lines are above the middle line, we are in a smaller downtrend than an uptrend. If they are both below it, then it would be a more intense downtrend. Scrolling back in time, we can see this example. Let's real quick do Etsy. I bought Etsy on 9.8 for $114 a share, where once again, the RSI was around 40, but as you can see the, on the MACD, it looked like the downtrend was going on, and it was. Buying when the stock is going down is what I like to do, rather than when it goes up. This was much more of a downtrend than Pinterest though, but I knew I wanted to get into Etsy since I thought it was a good name, and was planning on adding more around the $100 level, you know, that dollar cost average, so it doesn't matter too much if I buy at the exact bottom. We never got there though, so I couldn't dollar cost average down anymore. I was gonna buy a couple shares every couple weeks until the MACD turned around and then I would wait a bit, maybe it would happen again. 
Let's take a look at some fresh examples, something that I can just pull up right here and show you some stocks that this scanner found today, which is 1017. I know it's a Saturday, but still. Pulling up the stocks, I have the scanner set to find stocks with an RSI of less than 60, but greater than 20. I don't really want to find too many stocks that are below 20 to look at. It gives you a huge list with over 4,000 names. I know, insane. I will sort by market cap, which as you can see is just a bunch of tech stocks because they're getting into the oversold range because they've been down quite a bit the past few weeks and stuff. Looking at Apple, we have an RSI of around 55 and they've been trending up in the couple weeks. Not bad, but how about some smaller names? Any healthcare stocks I generally avoid because I think they are just based off of FDA approvals and such. And if they get denied or approved, they can either decline rapidly in value or increase pretty quickly. And that's just not a gamble I'm willing to take. Here's a decent one that is trending up and sitting around the 46 range on the RSI Bud or Budweiser, which you've probably heard of, has a slight trend up and is slightly oversold. Now this one won't move as much as tech names, but it wouldn't make a bad place to start getting in over time because it is trending up and I think people are probably buying more beer during this time. The last example I will use is Docu. It's a tech company called DocuSign. I'm sure you've used them. I know I've used them in the past. There have been apartment buildings that I need to sign leases for and they just send a DocuSign. Now I think this has even more potential than the previous one because a lot of people are not going to be wanting to sign papers just in person. You'd rather do it online. I'll actually probably add this one to my portfolio soon because it does seem like a name that will increase in time rather than decrease. You'll probably find some of the hotel stocks if you do the scanner for yourself. That's pretty much it on how I find some stocks that are down and should start trending up over time. Hopefully you can find some similar stocks that might yield 50 to 60 percent gains like Pinterest has done for me. Let me know in the comments if you're going to use this idea and if you're going to use it to find stocks or not. I just want to know. I upload videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on travel and finance. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down there. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.